I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Carlissa reveals to husband Sterling that Antonio Brown contacted her on Instagram. Shopping. Shopping with Bree. Hey, y'all late as usual. <coughs> Both of y'all late as usual. We did good on time. I had to hop on here. Why the husband gonna say I'm acting like I'm famous? Make sure y'all um, go subscribe so y'all can see this episode. Because I'm about to pull up on them. She said, because I am famous. Stop hating, Mr. Sappho. Okay. Girl, he going to pop my damn hand talking about some. <laughs> Stop trying to act like you famous. <laughs> famous. <laughs> Stay humble now. Like Stay it. humble. Oh, I like it. Stay oh, humble. Famous. Just stare at me. Y'all me stare at me. Just stare at me, y'all. Just stare at me. 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 I don't think they make them big enough for your head. Okay. Yes, they do. They can mold it. Shit. They don't make them that big. My barber can mold it. Yeah, girl, I woke up this morning. I said, "Well, you're gonna wear that one rollie for the rest of your life." <laughs> I woke up this morning. I said, "Take me over to Rodeo Drive, babe." He gonna say, "Don't start acting like you're famous. Keep taking your ass down there to that Victoria's Secret." I'm gonna take you to Ross's. And that's uh, <laughs> on the Ross. He told me to go to Ross, y'all. Yeah, Ross out there. <laughs> He said, what's wrong with Forever 21? I said, I am not, I'm famous now. I can't go in Forever 21. And, and then we went to McDonald's <laughs> for lunch. The, the value menu? The drive-thru. <laughs> he said he don't give a f- how famous we get. Uh, he eating that deadly ass burger. <laughs> in and out. She go to in and out. That shit's- oh, shit. I like Ross, too. He over here hating on me. He I, meant to to... I meant to say Tar-J. I meant to say Tar-J. I'm sorry. <laughs> he said that's your upgrade from, from the Walmart. Yeah, Tar-J. Uh-huh. I'm going to turn the air on. Uh-huh. Can you get it back there? Can y'all get it back there? Yeah. It's I'm having the time of my life just filming away, you guys. Like, I'm really paid to talk a lot of shit all f- day. Next Wendy Wynn. <laughs> Why? You going to make a baby on me? Baby on yeah, uh-huh. Wendy Williams' husband got a baby on her. No, okay, that. well then you better say Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> Not her either. Yeah, pick a <laughs> bitch with a solid. <laughs> Who else? Who else? Uh, right, we heard he about to, he tried to get me on that powder. <laughs> on the powder. Yeah, you know Wendy, she got on the powder because yeah. that man was driving her crazy. Yeah, she wasn't on that like that. She's a yeah, she's she a was on that powder. She's a drinker though. That powder make you lose your memory. That man. Getting paid to do what you like doing. Yes, he is so happy I get to talk shit to somebody else beside him. I don't know, y'all. Y'all gonna have to pray for me in Tokyo, baby, because every day, <laughs> every day is a new day. Man, y'all, y'all old ass is better get y'all shit together. <laughs> right. A-A-R-P. I said, I said fire the bitch. Shit, shit. Y'all, y'all gonna set y'all old asses down. I said, oh my goodness, honey. This is going to be a challenge, but you know where there is, where there's going to be, you know, success, there's going to be challenges, and that bitch is going to be a challenge. <laughs> you a challenge too. Shit. Mm-hmm. You gotta put it on Don't try to blame it on me. Don't try to blame it on me. You a challenge. Y'all been drinking? No, this is how we really act in real What's life. <laughs> So, yeah, he's on his way to take me over to Rodeo Drive. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be my first time actually getting out the car. You know what I'm saying? 
because I usually just ride. They said Tokyo gonna eat me up. So y'all uh, really, y'all really don't know me, do y'all? Y'all been thinking y'all know me. No, no, she ain't gonna do that. <laughs> y'all been thinking y'all know me, huh? I'm a good ass character. I play my roles good, but don't get it twisted. Don't ever get life twisted, okay? I'm bigger than her, faster than her, and stronger than her. Uh-oh. Hello, somebody. <laughs> she a sweet lady, though. I love you, Tokyo. If you're on here, don't whoop my ass today. <laughs> I can't get my ass whooped on my job. <clears throat> yes, we are on our way over to Rodeo Drive. We're going to have a couple of the, um, couple of the cucumber breads with the crust cut off, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Act like we full, and then when we get done, we're going to go over to McDonald's and get us a couple of double cheeseburgers. <laughs> it's a fur fries. <laughs> Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, guys. Um, watercress? What's watercress? Y'all should see my ass. I'll be out by that pool. <coughs> On the watercress. <laughs> yeah. like, like I'll be out by the pool, y'all. Just <laughs> <laughs> trying to act like I'm famous. I've been practicing all my life, y'all. <laughs> I've been practicing being famous all my motherfucking life. You hear me? I got the walk down and everything. You hear me? Cucumber little sandwiches. Yes, girl. <laughs> That's what the rich people eat. I'm trying to be your sugar baby, big mama. <laughs> I told y'all I was getting big. <clears throat> they call me big mama. Love you too, Miss Grinch. I had a dream about, um, about them last night. It's going to be all right. Everything going to be all right. Hey, T. I did. I sure did. I had a dream about both of them last night. I made up with one, and then the other one was mad again, and I was like, damn. And then I made up with the other one, and I was like, please don't put me in the middle no more. I don't want to be in the middle no more. Did you put the happy weight on? I don't know. I think it was stress weight. I gain weight every time one of my kids go to jail. I gain weight. I had a dream about you last night. <laughs> oh, shit. Babe, did you know that um, AB was in my DMs? Who was AB? Uh -oh. Antonio Brown. No. <laughs> she was in my DMs yesterday. He's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he crazy He's in the motherfucker. He's got some skills, though. <laughs> he fine as hell, too, man. He that motherfucker fine. Right. <laughs> He young boy fine. They get quiet quick. <laughs> you gonna turn left here, so you wanna get, I mean right, you gonna get right lane. Thank you. Right lane. You know it's yeah. gonna last five minutes with Krishan. Blue face. She gets on his nerves. Well, I get on Mr. Staffo's nerves too sometimes. It just be what it be. That's all I can say about that, child. Right here. You'll never know. Sometimes people like somebody to get on their nerves. That person might motivate them. Ain't no telling what's going on, child. I just pray they stay free and keep their hands to themselves. All these people talking mess act like this whole world knows their relationship. Um, no, we don't, but we don't. That, that's so a, that's the, yes. the previous relationship was some bullshit, like okay? Times. They're gonna have to do something. <laughs> we all scared of it. Who are you trying to be today? SWV. Um, well, Tia bought me this beautiful outfit, <laughs> so thank you, Tia. I love it. I love this little style. Tia got me this nice head wrap. And I had these cherry earrings that went perfectly with it. And she got me these cute little green pants. You know, not the rest of the ensemble together. So thank you, Tia. This is super cute. 
Are you team Jaden or team Krishan? I'm team whoever is going to treat my son good. They ain't got to be perfect, but whichever one of them going to keep their hands to they self. I don't care if they call them all kind of names, but whoever going to keep their hands to they self and keep the popo out the popo out the business and not be moving all crazy and vindictively and mad at their mama because if they mama making some money, then he ain't going to need them. Like all of that weird shit is just weird. You know, when you have sons, the women be inferior of the mother because the mother be like the backup. I'm the backup. And so when, because they don't have a backup, they feel some type of way because they can't really control my sons. Like, you can't control my sons. I'm going to always have it. You can't control them or manipulate them. <laughs> I'm going to always have it. Right, Bree? Hell no. You know what I'm talking about, Bree? You got a son, right? Yeah. So the, if if she got a man that ain't got nowhere to go, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dre get put out every week. He ain't going to never be on the street. So when Dre get put out, it's going to be a good time. <laughs> Don't put him out on the street. It's going to be a good time for who? It's going to be a good time for him. Gonna, right. If you put Dre out, it's going to be a fucking vacation. Where are you going? Where are you going? He going to the other spot that I'm paying for. <laughs> right. And he gonna go have a vacation. Don't put my son on the street. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Now, if he didn't have me, she could probably use my son like a slave and have him cleaning up and mopping and doing some extra shit. Cause you know what I'm saying? He going what? through. Yeah, when you you know how you treat yeah, that, no. that 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 you could control. That's what I'm saying. You can't control my kids. Period. You can't dog them out, make them do nothing they don't want to do. Now, all they don't they have a mom. So in that case. They don't like that because if they didn't, he didn't have me, yeah, have then the yeah, they wouldn't have all the control. So, and I get it. Every woman want to be able to have control over her, but you can't have control over my sons. And you damn sure can't have control over my daughter. Callie is like living the life. If I say no, I ain't babysitting. I call my husband like, what you doing? I'm sitting here babysitting. <laughs> How you get the baby? I was trying to control her today. <laughs> this got the baby. She out in the street. You was babysitting last night. Babysitting. You ain't even say, should I babysit? You just like, oh, I got Carter. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? My kids is just spoiled through the world. So they that's why they act crazy though. That's so it's a flip side to that shit too. Man, you don't know how to get to Rodale Drive. Oh, yeah, you don't need a. I just know you go straight to to the to the Beverly. To the Beverly. <laughs> straight to the Beverly. Look for the hills. Just look for you. At least rock work for hers. Jaden just wants to sit around and live off him. Well, she out working now. And and hold on now. Hold on. Hold on. I ain't gonna never let y'all say nothing crazy. Jaden used to work now. It wasn't for a whole long time, but it was a good time. It was, and I probably wouldn't have did it, but she did her mother thing for John to get up off and, and become Blueface. Where I left off, she picked up. She went to work. She came home. She brought him her whole check. She might have took her some weed money out <laughs> and a couple diapers. But then she took that whole check and took it to the studio and kept on trying to make them offbeat songs. And she was paying for that shit. So come on now. You're going to have to give credit where credit is due. Now, somebody popping up and making some, you know, some industry money, some quick money, some fun money versus going to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, feed your baby, hand your baby to the baby daddy, knowing he ain't about to get up with the baby, have to go to work praying and hoping that he hear the baby calling and screaming because he probably had too. Then she got to go on the job, stay there, take a little 30-minute lunch break, wonder if he and bitches at the house why which he probably was i'm just gonna say that and, and with the baby there too and you know what i'm saying and she went through a lot to get him where he is at so we're not gonna say oh krishan work krishan ain't did shit that Jaden did i'm sorry Jaden clocked in okay Jaden was clocking in he was living at her mama house rent free with her mama talking shit every day you got this in my house this, this broke ass low life ass <laughs> done dropped out of college and shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm, these my friends. Whatever the 
might bring up and want to talk that about. Shit the it's the same damn story. <laughs> Why is this so stupid? <laughs> no, they just asked me right now. I'm just telling them. Now, Krishan might be holding them down while he in the jail, and most women will run off on you while you in jail. So they both did their due diligence, okay? Everybody doing their due diligence, okay? Because I'm sorry, Mrs. Sappho go to jail for something. Well, it, she did have something to do with it. But if you go to jail, I ain't spend a fit and sit there my whole life and wait for you, okay? So they both did their due diligence. He gonna have to flip a motherfucking coin when he get home. <laughs> That's my advice to him. Flip a coin, dog. <laughs> if you get heads, you're lucky. If you get tails, you're fucked. <laughs> so y'all tell that motherfucker when he get home. <laughs> you're a comedian. Yeah, you might be. You you might be. Get, I try to tell y'all yeah. funny as if he get that big head, he gonna be in trouble. But if he get them tails, <laughs> that's what y'all, we all gonna tell him. Let's all write him a letter today and tell him, look at here, we understand what you're going through. Every man gets torn between two women who love him dearly. This is what you gonna have to do, partner. You gonna have to take that, flip that coin and hope you don't get that heads or that tail. <laughs> hey, Cat, hey, Cat Williams, put it on the show, man. Put it on the show, cat. Holler at me. <laughs> so I want y'all to all go write my son and tell him we know you're struggling with your decision. Flip a coin. Now. Oh, are you, man? And when you, whatever you get, heads or tails, you got to stick with that. <laughs> or you can say the heads and the tails and go for the Megan the Stallion. That's what I would do. Shit, I would get out and bring Ro Megan, Megan the Stallion some roses. She would get roses every day. Shit, I'll bet you I'd get on that stallion. <laughs> bet you I would. See, y'all niggas don't know how to do it. That's what the problem is. They don't know how to do it. Tell them. Tell them what we would do, girls. Tell them what we would do if we was torn between two women that got, both got kids I by them. I forgot you to be a and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> that was many, many years ago. I'm a lady now. <laughs> she struggled. Shit, I'd have flipped the coin. <laughs> Damn, Bree. <laughs> Bree just told my husband I struggle <laughs> with being a bitch every day. <laughs> Flip a coin. Geno Geno Jennings, where you at? <laughs> stay single. Okay. They said stay single. I was supposed to tell Live that I was safe this morning, but you got off your life. He already had Megan the Stallion. You want her for him. He don't want her. No, because remember now, he followed her for like five minutes. But he got a little salty because she didn't follow him back. But it wasn't time yet. She needed him to go and sit down and become a changed man because she waiting on a changed man. I know the future. Don't y'all see me? Don't I look like Miss Cleo? I know the future. He gon' she, he gon' Megan gonna be good and soft and ready. When Blue come home. <laughs> oh, my mama. <laughs> we gon' we gon' we gon' we all gonna tag them. We gonna say Megan and Blue sitting in the tree. K I S S I N G. First comes love, then comes marriage, then come the baby in the baby carriage. Somebody called me a Jezebel. <laughs> what is that? I have no idea. <laughs> Why the f hey, you hey, laugh? Hey, hey, that's, that's an old school hood rat. It is. <laughs> it is. Oh, man, you gonna let them call me a Jezebel? Tell them I don't be doing nothing wrong with my Jezebel. I didn't even let Mrs. Sappho get none for like, what, six months? But shh. Hey, don't lie. Six minutes. <laughs>
Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.